Today we're going to be looking at how to estimate the quotient or the answer when working through division problems. For question number one, we're being asked to estimate the quotient of 578 being divided by 23. In order for us to estimate the quotient or the answer here, as we can see up top highlighted in yellow, we're going to round each number to one non-zero digit. To do this, we're going to locate the far left for both our dividend and our divisor, and then we're going to round those numbers up or down. So for 578, we've gone to our far left place value, and then we're going to look to the digit that's immediately to the right to see if we're rounding up or down. Since that digit in this case is a 7, we're going to be rounding up, so 578 is going to be rounded up to 600. Now for 23, we've gone to the far left, which in this case is a two, and then we're gonna to look to the digit next door, which is a three, so we're gonna be rounding down. So 23 is going to be rounding down to 20. Now we're ready to actually estimate the quotient here, so we're gonna set up this division problem where we're gonna divide 600 by 20 because dividing 600 by 20 is easier than dividing 578 by 23. The first thing we're going to do here is we're going to cancel out our zeros. So in our divisor, we have one zero, and then we're also going to cancel out one of the zeros in our dividend as well. So now we're going to be dividing 60 by 2. So working through the division steps from left to right, we can make three equal groups of 2 out of 6. So we're going to write our 3 up top. Then when we multiply 3 times 2, we get 6. And then when we subtract 6 from 6, we're left with 0. Next, we're going to bring down the digit that's immediately to the right, which we're still going to be left with zero. Now we're going to repeat the division steps, except this time we're thinking, how many groups of two can we make out of zero? Well, we can't make any groups of two out of zero, so we're going to write our zero up top, and then we're going to multiply zero times two, which we know gives us zero, so we'll write the zero, and then we're going to subtract zero from zero. That's going to leave us with zero, and since we don't have any more numbers to bring down, we're done with this division problem. So when we estimate the quotient of 578 being divided by 23, the answer is going to be roughly 30. Now moving on to question number two, where this time we're being asked to estimate the quotient of 8,321 being divided by 135. So in order for us to estimate the quotient here, we need to round each number to one non-zero digit. To do this, we're going to underline the digits that are to the far left of both of these numbers, and then we're going to look to the digits that are immediately to the right to see if we're going to be rounding up or down. Since this digit happens to be a 3, we're going to be rounding down. So 8,321 is going to be rounding down to 8,000. Now moving on to 135, we've located the digit that's to the far left, and now we're going to look to the digit next door, which once again is a 3, so once again, we're going to be rounding down. So 135 is going to round down to 100. Now we're ready to set up this division problem. So we're going to divide 8,000 by 100. So just like we did with our first problem, we're going to cancel out some of these zeros. So in our divisor, we have two zeros that we can cancel out. So we're going to cancel out those zeros in our dividend as well. So now we're going to be dividing 80 by 1. Working through the division steps, we know that we can make 8 equal groups of 1 out of 8. So we're going to write our 8 up top. 8 times 1 gives us 8. Then when we subtract 8 from 8, we're left with 0. Then we're going to bring down our digit that's to the right, giving us 0 once again. And then we can't make a group of 1 out of 0. So we're going to write our 0 up top. And then we're going to multiply 0 times 1, which gives us 0. And then when we subtract 0 from 0, we're left with 0. And now since we don't have any more digits to bring down, we're done. So when we estimate the quotient of 8,321 being divided by 135, we're going to get the estimated quotient of 80. So hopefully by now you understand how to estimate the quotient or the answer when working through division problems. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.